Today we are at the auto show in Chicago. The first one actually happened in 1901 where they had gas powered cars and electricity powered cars. And also today we're looking for the latest and greatest electric vehicles here in the US. Can you see the snow behind me? <laughs> so this is a really cool setup. This is the Subaru Solterra, all electric vehicle cooperation between Toyota and Subaru. I think it's a prototype, so it's not out there yet. As you can see here, it has no frunk. This is where the e-motor and the inverter sits. The batteries are underneath the car. And it's a really, really cool setup here. Um, it's unbelievable. It's really such a great style. It's off-roading, it's camping, and just showing that electric vehicles can be for outdoor people too. So we are now at the Kia booth, and this is the Kia EV6. So this is the platform. I always like to see the platforms that really represent the technology. You can see it has a front e-axle and a rear. Uh, e-motor inverter and in the middle you have all the batteries the batteries i think it's around 70 something kilowatt hours so around the size of a tesla pack and the cells are pouch cells manufactured by sk innovation it's really great to see more and more charging stations by electrify america everywhere in the u.s that's a really cool thing about the kia ev6 if i get it open <laughs> where is it how did you open it? I don't know. How do we get it open here? Oh, okay, now. And the cool thing is here, you can see a little indication of the state of charge. That's the first time that I see something like that. So you can see from the outside of the car if your car is charged or not. Do you get it open? It looks elegant. I like this car. Oh, that looks very different. Very clean. Very clean. So this is like a big surprise for me, this car. Yep. Like a positive surprise. So what I thought was going to be one of the biggest uh, draws here at the show was going to be the new Hummer from GMC. Uh, but I'm actually quite surprised. There's not too many people around it. Um, I think it's back in a corner here at the show. So maybe this is why it's not getting too much attention. But it's quite impressive. So it's got a really huge battery pack that's underneath. Uh, you can kind of poke your head under there and take a look at it. It has 200 kilowatt hours. Yeah, 200 kilowatt hours, um, 800 volts. Um, and this is from the Altium platform. So it's the same platform that they're building the Silverado on, which we'll see a little bit later. Yeah. Altium is kind of a joint venture between GM and LG. Right. So this is where the yep. cells come from. So it's, uh, yeah, I think we're going to start. We were talking to the guy a little bit earlier. We're going to start seeing some on the road here pretty soon. Uh, but it's a pretty big truck, pretty impressive. Uh, but I'm not going to cancel my F-150 Lightning uh, order for it just yet. So even though a year ago when Ford had their electrification event, the F-150 likely got most of the press. One of the more important vehicles in our opinion is this Ford Transit electric vehicle. Uh, this will be able to be used in a wide variety of applications from work trucks to uh, short haul transportation industries. And the electrification of these types of vehicles makes a lot of sense. Not only is the vehicle fast, powerful, but it is also smart. Can we go and get in line? I love this color. Thank you. Hey, how you guys doing? Good. Hi. How are you? Doing well, thanks for asking. So how many times did you do that already today? Uh, I've lost count. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's a good question though. I'll have to see that. <laughs> I, I keep saying I'm going to track it one day. We, so uh, what I do know is, is the track's about 0.1 miles long. We're doing, you know, about 100 miles a day. 100, 150 miles a day. Oh my goodness. How many people we get, yeah. Okay. So we're in the Mustang Mach-E GT Performance. 480 horsepower, 637 pound-feet of torque, 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. So not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad, yeah. So we're gonna do a little acceleration run here. We'll turn on the lights and the sound here. Very cool. Probably gonna be the fastest you've been indoors. Okay. Launch mode, in eight, five, four, three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> That yep. is awesome.
So thank you so much. Of really course. appreciate Anytime. it. Have fun. Thank you. I will yeah. do. Yeah. really the fastest I've ever been. Yeah, that was really a lot of fun. Uh, I think we need a GT competition. <laughs> that's crazy. And we love that color. Yes, the color is really beautiful. So that's very interesting. There is not a lot of interest for this car, right? Yeah. There's almost nobody. That's an all electric BMW i10 iX or i10, I don't know. Interesting thing about BMW is that they're using prismatic cell. Most of the car manufacturers that we have seen today are using pouch cells and BMW uses prismatic ones. This is as close as we can get today with Jeep and an electrified solution that's a hybrid Jeep in a pretty, pretty cool color, I would say. For everybody that doesn't know, we're converting a 99 Jeep Wrangler, just like the one from Gilmore Girls, into electric. So we are waiting in line now to try this crazy track here with the Jeeps. They're not all electric, hope that's okay. But I just wanted to summarize a little bit what we have seen so far. So maybe five, six electric vehicles, but most of the vehicles here are still um, traditional ones. We're kind of surprised that for an auto show like that, you don't see any of the startups here. You don't see a Lucid, you don't see a Tesla, you don't see a Rivian. So actually that would be really cool, but you can see all the traditional brands like GMC, Ford, and then also some others like Kia, Nissan, Kia, Hyundai, Hyundai so and so on. Yeah. <laughs> I hope we get this one. Yeah. Thank you. How's it going? Hi, good. How are you? Are you? Welcome to my office, guys. <laughs> Is it allowed to drive like with this? Yeah. Like on the road, yeah. everywhere? Uh, no, that's, that's safe to say. Oh, that's it. Oh, 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 Having launched it only a few weeks ago, I thought that this would be one of the hottest things at the show. And I'm quite surprised that there's very few people here taking a look at it. What is the information for the battery? 400 mile range, 24 modules, double stacked, so two levels. Oh, cool. Propulsion. It's also able to power other things. Also power uh, vehicle to vehicle charging. There's still lots of discussion about how well that's going to be used. but. I also like the idea, now maybe this is not the only pickup truck that can do it, but you can open up the back and then you actually have really long things in the bag, so this is kind of cool. Volkswagen, or Volkswagen, how the Americans used to say. <laughs> We're now at the VW booth. There is not too much new here. This is the ID4. I think it's a very nice and small car. We are both not too much of a fan of the style of the of the VW ID4 but I think it's a it's a nice small electric car not so surprising I fell asleep uh, what did you say the ones that can I you say Volkswagen Volkswagen Volkswagen, Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Yeah, VW that's also Veronica right VW oh. 